I am Angela Rosenberg. I currently live in Miami. I grew up in Hilton Head, South Carolina for most of my life. And I am the president of Andari Foundation. I'm Carrie Rosenberg. I'm Angela's sister. I grew up with her on Hilton Head Island. And I currently live in Los Angeles. I uh, work in film now. Andari Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit private operating foundation. We were established in 2016, and our goals are really to provide a exceptional platform to do field work for scientists at, at low cost, at operational cost of the vessel, share what they're doing with the general public, uh, develop educational curriculum around what different researchers are doing, and kind of unite the scientific and the um, general public and educational communities all together. What we really wanted to do was design a vessel that could host a group of researchers, in this case six, so we could take scientists out, we could have a very comfortable and accommodating platform for them to actually stay on. So first I'm going to show you the exterior workspaces, perfect for bringing samples up and laying things out at the end of a long day. All wet chemistry can be done out here and uh, it's just steps away from the swim platform in our dive area. So we have four underwater lights aft and additional one on each side so we can light up the water at night. And then we also have an underwater HD camera so we can record what's going on, divers in the water and other things to use to share with media or scientists. We have plenty of countertops which are all chemical grade and ready for any sort of chemistry or seawater work you want to do as well as a helm which we just upgraded significantly with new garments. AIS uh, radar, and then we can also monitor everything we're doing by our camera system. Welcome on board the research vessel, Anjari. We are excited to have you here for our first ever film expedition and overnight research expedition. This is what I've wanted to do all along because I have that science background. I know exactly what is needed in the field work, but, and I love sharing it with people, and it, it kind of just came together really well. I think a lot of scientists at some point in your career, if, if you, you know, go that far into the research realm, you are in front of a camera. But you don't get to share what you're doing in this kind of format. You get to see what the scientists are doing, what their assistants are doing, what the techs are doing, what the captains on the vessel are doing, everything that's happening at once to make this research actually happen. I think what's really cool about Anjari is it offers you both a platform to sort of further professional scientific research, but also to be able to give that out to a broader community, communicate that to a broader community and give others an opportunity to experience that as well. We spent the last 10 years or so kind of developing underwater techniques for documenting marine resources. And we found that one of the best ways of doing that is with cameras. We take these cameras down and we use them in a downward looking position. And we kind of do a lawnmower pattern over the reef. We'll set them to take images once every second. So they're taking images constantly. And that allows us to go back into the lab and use feature matching algorithms to match the features of each image to the next image. So at the end, we can stitch those together and create one large scale image of the reef. And I really think that showing people um, what these resources look like and how they're under, under different stresses and under different threats really going to help in saving these resources. So we'll be using virtual reality and other immersive experiences in film to uh, create a in-person experience that we can take into the classroom and share that with students and teachers and have a much broader impact so that they can understand what kind of marine science research is going on and, uh, and develop a relationship with the scientists who are actually out in the field doing that research. I think that's one of the things that's so cool about this project and what we're doing to bring that to kids that may not be near an ocean where they can experience firsthand, but also just don't have necessarily the resources that allow them to do that. For us, we started so young. And so, and, and that's what really stemmed our interest in it, I think, and what made us passionate about it. And so we want to start other people young too. You know, the middle school age, I think, is perfect for it. And I don't know, get them passionate about it. Maybe they can start thinking about it as their future careers and, and pay attention to the oceans and what's going on and, and start making an effort themselves at a young age. And then that will stem into them as an adult. It will just keep growing. You know, we're starting off small. We're on a small operating budget. We really want to stretch it as far as we can. And I'd love to really bring in grants and supporters and sponsors and take it to a whole new level that people right now might not even be able to imagine. 
My kind of dream is to do a VR experience for a kid in like middle America who has never seen the ocean before and to watch them like light up and see what it's like to be on the water and see what it's like to, I don't know, shark dive or, or do well, anything. Really, and it's you know? amazing when you look at the stats, there's people who live a mile from the ocean who have never been in the ocean. Yeah. And then with education and getting it, what we're doing in the classrooms, working specifically with teachers, so it's in line with the curriculum that they need to teach and that the state requires, well, I think will really have a broader impact and sure. launch it much further. Yeah. Antari is exciting. We love what we do and we're committed to it.